So as you see now, I am getting the artwork which I got printed off. Trying to cut it this li this little knife. Trying to um get it all out. So now I've got um first part out. This is just for the backflash wall. Yeah, it's nice artwork. This managed to um use this um little knife here to um cut it all out. And yeah, I'm gonna put some more footage in of me cutting out some more of the other bits. Yes, yeah, get cracking on this. Cutting out some of the... It's been quite quite difficult to do. You've got to make sure you get this right precisely. Yeah, look at it really. This is for the... I think for the bottom part of it. Down near the platform. As you can see now, I've got all the decals um, all cut out. And yeah, I've got them. Um, a bit wonky in mind, but yeah. got all the letters. It's Miami Trip Free. Oh, that's one way around. Yeah, I got these words. It gets better. Keep on tripping. Welcome to Miami. And there's the actual um, back. Actually, I've got to say, the artwork looks really nice on this. It will look good once it's on the actual model as well. What, what my plan is to do is um, I'm going to get all the actual model out, get it all laid out, and I um, also plan to use um, some pretty stick glue and um, stick all the decals on before. I start slotting it all together and that. Yeah. I think it's been quite a challenging build this, but it should be quite a good one and hopefully it should look what hopefully it should look good when it's done. So yeah, let's let's get started with the main thing. Now I've got um pieces out here that is a sign here, Miami trip free. Yeah. Got um the back backboard there, got um different stuff here, got like some of the frame for the bench. Looks all very complicated this. Should be a bit of an interesting build. Got like little pieces there and other bits there. Like right. yeah, so now I'm gonna try and sort it all out. Sections. I'll look through through the instructions, then gonna So first off I'm gonna start off with the little walk the Q line bits in the front board. Well I'm trying to see yeah, just gonna get these pieces. They seem to clip off so much easier these look. Than the ghost train did, they just pop off bam easily like that. Yeah, for some reason, these pop a lot easier. And yeah, just gonna start assembling up the Q line and walkway. So, yeah, got my woohoo glue, which I used for the ghost train ready for this. I think the Miami's gonna. Sorry for being a bit quiet with this um, building, guys. It's just like I like to try and really concentrate when I'm doing these models. You've got to be so careful. Doing that in there. Down it goes. There it goes. And that's it. This one. There we go. Be about work on there too. So you can see current update now, I've got um, a main base done where the bench will um, 
Spion. Yeah. Got this down here, and I've got um a little cue line thing down there. And yeah, this will probably about do for tonight. Um, it's quite nice about ten o'clock at night now. But yeah, don't want to work too much hours. I get too tired, and so you start making errors and that. It's very wonky this time, so I've just got to really try and let this glue settle in. I've put a ton of glue all around it. Just got to let this set now. This one's sort of setting a bit more over here. And yeah, I've got these two bits done, and tomorrow I'll progress more on it. Geek shock. So now, day two of the build, and um, starting off today, I've got to build um, the actual sort of arm bearings now. We're getting a bit technical now, so um, yeah, it's getting a bit more challenging now. These little bits here, these are like, um, these are the arm bearings here, which will actually hold the arms in. This is part of the back wall, and some of the little things to go on the side here. So yeah, day two of the build, time to build them. Um, time to get this built, and I'm also going to put the decal on this part first, because it literally says in the instructions that um, decals are better to be put on the pieces before you um, actually um, put them all together, otherwise it's a bit awkward and stuff to um, put them all together after. So yeah, I'll put in some footage of me building the arm bit, and it should look a bit like this once it's done. I've got the artwork on here, so um, so there's some little holes sort of here, so um, I'm going to have to cut some of the artwork out through it. I mean, cut some of the decal out through this to make a little circle, so I can get these um, bearing things through. So yeah, I think the artwork looks really nice. So yeah, I'm going to bring some more footage of me now and continue in this part. Now they're attached in together. So as you can see now, I've got um, the arm bearing things attached in. See two around the back there, and two here, and I um, managed to paint them black. All I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the arms black and the seats red. So yeah, I've also got the artwork on there. I think this is looking really sort of nice at the moment. Um, a little bit. Yeah, that's that part done. So we're moving on to the next part of the model. Now I've got um the I don't know what they call these, it's um the arm part I don't know, I'm not that technical at the moment, so yeah. This part attached onto the main wall here. And in a second I'm gonna attach the other bit of artwork to the wall part here. Ooh, 
Now we're going to touch this up. So as you can see now, I've got um the artwork all attached. So of course it's not really hundred percent perfect, and um there's little bits I need to um trim back a little bit on some of the corners, just so um, the backlight bits will um fit in properly. There you go. See, I got um the little arm bearing things in, and all the artwork attached to Pritt stick glue, and then now I've got to um attach this onto there. This is still a little bit sort of. Wonky and that, so this might need just a tiny little bit more glue. So these will slot into there, into there, like that, which I'll do in a second. Then it will be onto them um, getting the, the bench part sorted. So yeah, it's progressing progressing quite rapidly so far. This, so I'm gonna put in some more footage now of me um, attaching the wall to the base. Try and attach this down onto a, the base part here. Oh, I'm just going to take this out for a second. So you can see now, I've got um this all attached, and this just needs a tiny little bit more sort of nudging in, but honestly, it just clipped in like really sort of like quickly. Just bam, clicked in. So yeah, got this part here done now. And you can see that I've got the floor here. And yeah, it's quite it's quite a good size. This actually, it's almost a one fifty scale. It's quite a nice size. I'm also going to got some fairy light stuff to put on top of these. Um, so once it's all done, then look at the lights and that. Yeah, now I've got um the wall attached and the artwork on here. It's all starting to come together a bit now. So got the main sort of base done, and um, now it will be on to um, sorting the bench parts and the seats out, which does look a bit complicated. Look at the instructions, like here, and then got to use them something to make sure it's all level. So like, uh, yeah. Oh well, that was easy. So now I've got all the parts out here. This is um lighting part where um lights can be fitted on and uh, then this is the actual frame of the bench if you don't know what i mean by the bench i mean this part here where um, the seats will go on and it will move around like that and then eventually attach onto um on there and these parts here for construction is meant to be glued on behind slotted on just so um it can hold it in for when um the other bits go on I'll put some footage of me um, progressing with this. These things slot in quite easily. You're saying about using glue and that on the thing, but these actually slot in quite easily. Might have to use a little bit of glue though, just so they're fully sort of secured in. It won't hurt to see a little bit. So now I've got this part done here with um, little attaches here. These will. Um, Hold the seats onto place here, but um, was well, there's restraints there. But um, before I start attaching the seats on, so like that, I'm gonna paint these seats. I'm gonna paint these seats red, and I'm gonna paint the arms red as well. Then to glue the artwork over the top of that, glue bits of the artwork here on the side. Then I'll attach it all together afterwards. That so I'll put some footage of me um, coloring the seats um red. It was weird saying colouring instead of painting. <laughs> it actually works really well on um, the Sharpie. I'll show you on like here. I know you've got a few tiny little bit of grey there which um, I need to um, colour in properly. But um, you can see most of the black has managed to sort of stay on. And it is all pretty much dried up as well now. So um, it's much better to use these, um, is an example, these just that standard Sharpies. For doing these sort of models, I find um, using standard sharpies a lot easier than um, having to fiddle about with paint and everything like that. 
So I'll put in some more footage now on um, how it's progressing. You can see now I am um, colouring these seats in red. I'm going to try and get these done as good as I can, but obviously because of the size of a Sharpie, um, it's really hard to sort of get into the awkward, it's a really small area, so I'm trying my best with it. Plans was trying maybe to get a smaller sort of Sharpie, try and get into those little bit of areas so it looks 100% perfect. Yeah, I'll try my best anyways with this, so I'm, yeah, let's get on. So um, this is um day two's work done. So um, as you can see, I've got um seats sort of painted. Need to get into more details. Got some of the frame for the bench done. You see, I've put some of the artwork on top of that now. Got the main wall up, the main artwork on that. So yeah, quite a bit of pro progress done tonight. I'm not sort of rushing it or going really quick with this. I think this will take a bit more of a longer build than the ghost train, but um, I'm not rushing it all. Just taking it a day at a time with this because. Was if rush it could break and um yeah go take my time with it so it can be really good once it's done and um yeah i think tonight um done quite a bit of progress with it and it's coming on really well so um